when I saw the same name and I was like, oh my gosh, did we really, is this really going on? Did it really just happen to me too? A Moorhead man reacting to a whistleblower investigation from last week when a couple warned about buying cats from a woman on Facebook. The man claims the same scam happened to him, saying he was told he was buying a Maine Coon kitten, but it turns out it was a barn cat with a laundry list of medical problems that weren't disclosed to him. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley talked with the man who claims he's another feline fraud victim. Just a few days into being a new pet parent, Justin Gullickson thought it was over for his new kitten, Lenny. He just reached back like this and made a real like bad row. Like it was just really, really like, oh my gosh. And I thought right there and then on the way to West Fargo, I thought he was dying. That trip to the vet cost over $700 and another adding up to almost 300 with a possible diagnosis of fading kitten syndrome, similar to failure to thrive in people. I never thought he would wake up lethargic, no no blood sugar, no blood pressure, and pretty much poke and prod in every little vein he has and going through torture just to try to keep him alive. Gullickson says he bought Lenny off Facebook from a woman we told you about last week, Erin Cheneau. She told Gullickson it was a half Maine Coon kitten. It was healthy and came with shots, but Gullickson says she didn't provide any proof. Just looking at this poor little guy, it'll break your heart thinking wherever his siblings are, they're probably going through something worse. He picked Lenny up at this apartment building on Prairie Woods Circle in Fargo, and a man claiming to be Aaron's brother brought the cat out to the parking lot. Gullickson says when he reached out to Cheneau saying Lenny was sick, she didn't offer to help, just tried to sell him another cat. And now Gullickson says the woman blocked him on Facebook. He urges you to think twice before buying an animal on Facebook. God forbid another person goes through exactly what I went through. He eight weeks. <laughs> Told the little guy when I got him because he was in a little bit of rough shape. I was like, I don't care if you're a little rat cat. I was like, you're my cat now, you know. So I just told him that no matter what happens, we're kind of in it together. Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Oh, really? We reached out to police and animal control. They say they're no longer investigating this case. In a statement, they said the actions of the seller may have been unethical, but not criminal. It isn't against the law to resell animals. Experts want to remind you that it's against Facebook's terms of service to buy and sell pets on the site. It's better to do your research on breeders in the area or adopt from Homeward Animal Shelter or Cat's Cradle.